Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we are in Dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.8, okay? It says, a particle is moving along a straight line such that its position is defined by S equal to 10 T squared plus 20 millimeters, where T is in seconds. Determine the displacement of the particle during the time interval from T equal to 1 second to T equal to 5 seconds. The average velocity of the particle during this time interval and the acceleration when t is equal to 1 second. Okay, so the first thing that we know about this problem is that we're given the position of this particle and is equal to t10 10, 10 t squared, I'm sorry, plus 20, and the units are in millimeters. Okay, and they're asking us to find the displacement of this particle. And what we need to know about displacement, so displacement is that displacement is equal to the change in position of this particle, okay? And we're given the time, we're given from time equal to 1 to time equal to 5, okay? So in order to find this change in position, we're going to do the position when time is equal to 5 minus the position when time is equal to 1, okay? So let's start by finding this position. So first we're going to do the position when time is equal to 1. And using our equation, it will be 10 multiplied by 1 squared plus 20. And if we do this, we put this into our calculator, we will realize that this is equal to 30 millimeters. Okay. Next, we're going to do the position when t is equal to 5. And then we will realize that it's just the same equation, just changing our 1 for our 5. And if we put it, this into our calculator, we will get 270 millimeters, okay? So now that we have the position when time is equal to 5 and position when time is equal to 1, all we need to do is put it into our equation. So our displacement is going to be equal to 270 minus 30 okay and this should always give us 240 millimeters okay and this should be the first answer for our problem so we got the displacement is equal to 240 and this is the answer for my question a next now b they're asking to find the average velocity and what we need to know about average velocity is that the average velocity by definition is going to be the change in position, which is displacement, divided by the change in time. So we already know the change in position and we know the times that we're working on. Therefore, we can say that this is going to be 240 millimeters divided by the change in time, which is 5 seconds minus 1 second. So this is at the bottom is in second. And if we put this into our calculator, we realize this is 240 min, um, divided by 4. And this will give me 60 millimeters per second. Okay. And we just found our second answer. So this should be our answer for our question B. Okay. So let's put that on. This is for question B. Next is asking the acceleration when time is equal to one second. So for acceleration, what we need to know is that the acceleration is always going to be twice the derivative of position with respect to time. Okay. The good thing is that we know position with respect to time since it's the equation that was given to us, position with respect to time. So all we need to do is that the derivative twice that the derivative with respect to time of our equation which is 10 t squared plus 20 and if we perform this then we'll realize that it's going to be equal to 20 and it's equal to 20 which is a constant meaning that doesn't change with respect to time so my acceleration when time is equal to 1, it's going to be 20 millimeters per second squared. Okay? And this should be our answer for my question C.
okay if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one